find the number of permutations of A, B, C, X, Y, Z, in which none of the patterns spin, game, path, or net occurs. Answer: To solve this problem, we first need to find the total number of permutations of the 26 letters. This is simply 26. 26 factorial, which is the product of all positive integers up to 26. Next, we need to count the number of permutations that contain at least one of the forbidden patterns, spin, game, path, or net. To do this, we can use the principle of inclusion-exclusion. We start by counting the number of permutations that contain spin, then subtract the number of permutations that contain game, path, or net, then add back in the number of permutations that contain two of the forbidden patterns, then subtract the number of permutations that contain three of the forbidden patterns, and finally add back in the number of permutations that contain all four forbidden patterns. To count the number of permutations that contain spin, we treat spin as a single letter, which can be permuted with the other 25 letters. This gives us 25 permutations that contain spin. Similarly, we can count the number of permutations that contain game, path, or net by treating each pattern as a single letter. This gives us 23 permutations that contain game, 23 permutations that contain path, and 22 permutations that contain net. To count the number of permutations that contain two of the forbidden patterns, we need to choose two patterns out of the four and treat each pair as a single letter. There are six ways to choose two patterns out of four, so the total number of permutations that contain two forbidden patterns is 6 times 22. To count the number of permutations that contain three of the forbidden patterns, we need to choose three patterns out of the four and treat each triplet as a single letter. There are four ways to choose three patterns out of four, so the total number of permutations that contain three forbidden patterns is 4 times 21. Finally, to count the number of permutations that contain all four forbidden patterns, we can treat the four patterns as a single block and permute the remaining 22 letters. This gives us 22. Putting it all together, the number of permutations of A, B, C, X, Y, Z, in which none of the patterns spin, game, path, or net occurs is 26, 25, 23, 23, 22, plus 6 times 22, plus 4 times 21, 22. Simplifying this expression, we get 24 sextillion 613 quintillion 256 quadrillion 883 trillion 401 billion 576 million 896 thousand. So there are approximately 2.46 by 10 to the power of 22 permutations that satisfy the given condition. If eight distinct dice are rolled, what is the probability that all six numbers appear? When you roll a dice, each face has an equal chance of appearing. Since we have eight distinct dice, each dice has six possible outcomes. The total number of outcomes for rolling eight dice is six feet, since each dice has six possible outcomes and the rolls are independent. Now, let's consider the number of ways in which all six numbers can appear. There are six factorial ways to arrange the numbers 1 through 6 in a sequence, and we want all six numbers to appear on the eight dice. We can choose which six of the eight dice will show the numbers 1 through 6 in 8c6 equals 28 ways. Then, we can arrange the six numbers in six factorial ways on those six dice, and the remaining two dice can have any of the six possible outcomes. Therefore, the number of outcomes where all six numbers appear is 28 times 6 factorial times 6 to the power of 2. So, the probability of rolling all six numbers on eight distinct dice is P 
repeat all six numbers appear equals number of outcomes, where all six numbers appear total number of outcomes. P equals 28 times 6 factorial times 6 to the power of 2 over 6 to the power of 8. P equals 28 times 6 factorial over 6 to the power of 6. P equals 28 over 729. P 0 0.0384